WPGET Web Dev Tutorials for All User Levels. Okay, so this is just a quick video on my initial foray into Bricks. A couple of little quirks that I found. Um, just wanted to look at a um, couple of things I think they need to improve. Uh, overall, happy with Bricks. I think it's great. Uh, but just a little little uh, things that trip me up. So I'm on version 1.5.4 right now. So if I head over to Bricks, the first thing that tripped me up is, uh, and excuse this ugly page, I'm just been playing around with colors, etc. Um, we've got a section on the editor here. Uh, and the initial page I had, I had a whole bunch of sections and content there while I was testing it. And what tripped me up was if I get a section or a container or anything and I drag it, and you can see what the orange bar at the top there, if I let it go there, I expect that to be at the top of the page. But it sticks it actually at the bottom. If I grab another one and I put it up the top there, it sticks it down the bottom. So what I was doing is I was dragging these sections to the page thinking that, hey, this isn't working. It's not actually working. I kept dragging sections to the page. And then I looked over to the right and I saw, oh, hold on, I've got all these sections here. And it turns out they're actually down the bottom. So it's not sticking them in the editor where you've released the drag and drop. It's just sticking it at the bottom of the, uh, the list, which is a bit quirky. So that's something that they probably need to look at. The one that tripped me up the most was actually the colors in the themes. And I couldn't find much help on this. There's a, a Bricks Academy. There's a uh, tutorial on getting started. Uh, with the themes, it doesn't even talk about the colors in there. It just talks about all the uh, layout settings, etc., uh, and conditions. It, but there's nothing mentioned really about colors. So what I found in there, what I found was that um, if we go into our theme settings, uh, my theme styles. Um, now I've got a theme I've just called WP Get uh, Dark. Uh, I've got my condition set to an entire site. Now, everything else was good. Uh, the colors just threw me. Now, there's a, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more here so you can see this. There's a little warning up the top here that says that it's applicable to heading or button style setting only. Create and use global colors through your own color, uh, custom color palette. Okay, so fair comment. So first thing is, well, where? Where do I create the color palette? There's nothing in here that tells you where to do that. There's no button to say create or add a color palette. Um, now, what I first looked at is actually, I'm just gonna check these palettes here. So if I look at this palette here, I'm gonna turn that off as a default. So I add a bit of a play with it and come back to these colors here. And what I found is that when you click on a, any of these, you can change those colors um and when you go back to the uh page builder what i thought because it was talking about the style i was going to the style tab i was going to my colors say for example my topography and i was trying to select those colors uh, that i created and, and i could not find them and if you point at these actually that's i'm just going to refresh this that's actually remembering the last setting so if i go to my heading and go to my style topography color uh, it's actually, ah, that's interesting. So I've gone into the color palettes and I've told that WPG is not the default, but now it is, even though it's not the default. So I'm going to go back to without having the, that, I'm going to go back to the standard color palette. And what I see here is uh, I've got some grays, white, white through a couple of grays and some black. And then I've got color seven, color eight, color nine, 10, 11, None of these got names on them. So right through to what I actually found is if we go back to have a look at our settings, theme styles and colors, see these here, these colors affect what's in that palette, but they're not named. So we've got light color, dark color, muted color, but if we go to select them in here, um, they're actually in reverse order, which is really strange. So here's the, um, well, actually, that's still, it's defaulting to the wrong one. So we go to the default. They're actually in the reverse order that you define them in. 
and um, they're not the names, they're just color and then a number, 18, 17, 16, 15. So I was wondering, where is it getting these colors from? Uh, let's have a look at this color 18 here, for example. If I go to my styles, my colors, and I go to this one here, this muted color. All right, I'm gonna change that to something completely different. I'm gonna make that a, uh, I don't know, make it a purple color like that and add some saturation in make it a real purple so i can tell that's the color save that and i come back to my heading go to my styles topography uh, again wpg default when that's not the default so there it is there and here's my purple color there so it's not very intuitive whatsoever i'm not sure what they're thinking, why they've done this. Uh, you can actually view it as a list. And once you go in as a list, you can name them in here, but they're already named in here. So why aren't those names being used? That's very confusing, isn't it? Um, so anyway, what I discovered is that when you go into the color palette, so any from any of these color swatches, you can get into your color palettes, you go into your color palette, uh, create a new palette, set that as your default. Um, now, what happens here is if you change any of these sliders, so if I make that a uh, different color there, I can't even see which one that is actually. So make it red, I'll make it a real bright red. Okay, uh, make, make it there. And then what happens because I've changed it, I get this little save button. So if I hit save, it's saved a color, right? But where? Okay, hit save. Now, it, there it is there, and it's called color 14. So there's a little burger icon here, or list, but it looks like a burger icon. And if you click on that, we then get the extra color that I've called, but you can't rename it just by, don't, by clicking on it. You gotta click the pencil, then you can call that new color and hit the end key, that doesn't work. So you gotta hit the save, now it works. So now I've got a color called new red. All right, so if I go back to my heading, for example, here and go to my uh, topography, here's my colors. I'm on the default palette. There we go. I change WPG default to be the default. So let's, let's check that. If I go to WPG default, edit, it's my default color palette. So why didn't that come up when I bought up my swatches? When I clicked on these swatches here, why didn't that come up? Now I can't even get out of it. I get content, style, hit my color from topography. I've got my new red there now. See, it's called new red. Um, or if I click on this, I see a list and there's my new red there. So I can change to these colors by clicking on those. So that's actually pretty good. I, I like this little UI here. I like the fact that you can view it as a list. You can name these colors. Um, you can set the default, but it doesn't always come up as the default. So it's there's a bit of work to do on this. It kind of reminds me of the old Macromedia days when they came up with Flash, where you've got these little icons and whatnot, um, and you know colored swatches, but you really don't know what they are until you start going in and going, well, what is that? Okay, we'll click on that and they go, okay, here's a thing I can rename that. No, I can't. Now I've got to hit the, pedal, hit the pencil to, to edit it. It's just a little bit quirky. Uh, it's good once you understand it, but it's a little bit quirky to find your way around. So that's the only criticism I've got of that. Um, now, coming back to those colors that were set in here, so these colors here, what I didn't realize, so I'm going into my colors for my theme thinking these are my colors for my theme, not realizing that uh, if I want to actually create colors, um, I've got to um, create a palette, um, which, uh, which I now understand. And the only way to create the palette is by clicking on a swatch and then going, oh look, okay, that's not what I want. Hit the plus so I can create a new palette, create your colors uh, and name your colors. All right. Where this actually gets used, 
those colors actually gets used is not on the style tab but there's a style attribute on headings and buttons so that's what this means when you see that uh, under the colors when you see this here applicable to heading or button style setting only um, that does not mean the style tab that means this style drop down here so you can change that to primary secondary uh, I think that might have not even changed there we go so why bother having that if it doesn't work okay let's try getting rid of this can we get rid of it we can clear that go back to our content and light uh, success warning so these this drop down here for the colors works for these colors here that's what they are they come up in the drop down list they don't show up in the palette like if you go to the default palette and here they're just numbers right they're color numbers they got no reference to what they are named at and they're in the reverse order that they're actually on the ui so very confusing uh, even if you hit the list they're just called color one through to color 18. it's just confusing so um, anyway that's the issues i've got with the color once you understand it and you can create your own palettes it's great because you go in there here's my wpg default i set that as my default palette um, i go back into uh, hold on a sec what are we doing here we go messed it up that's my topography my theme is it it is too so if i'm in a color here change the color um, i can select my default theme here I can name colors here if i want a new one uh, i'll just create a new one so this this sort of bluish color here hit save all right now i've got color 15. all right still doesn't make sense hit the burger um go down to the color hit the pencil call this oops disappeared on me where did it go okay hit the pencil call that uh, blue and hit the save and that works fine it's really not the not the features that i've got issue with here it's really the implementation of how you find them so creating a color yep hit the save button that's just a number now what do i do okay now i've got to hit these these lines uh now i can't rename that it's not working uh oh that's all right i've got to hit the edit button first hit the edit button rename that press the enter key oh that didn't work now i've got to hit the plus it's really just the implementation of it that needs probably a little bit of tidying up uh, but I like the palettes. I think they're great. I like the fact that you can create multiple palettes. Um, I'm going to create for my uh, starter sites. So I'm going to create a dark palette and a light palette. So I've got a choice to want to start with. Um, but yeah, it's just something that really needs a little bit of tidying up. So hopefully the bricks guys will tidy that up. Thank you.